This is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back with Quick Hits. Uh, quick Hits comes to you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. All right, we got a good show today. Connor Ben, the drug treat himself, may have failed. I don't know, may have. They're saying he's reportedly failed a second test. I will find out if that's true or not in the upcoming days, but that's a rumor. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you, like I said, every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's near and dear to our heart. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let's get into today's show. That's Connor Ben. Um, and this comes from um, the Daily Mail, it's a UK paper. Uh, Connor Ben is being investigated over claims he failed a second drug test. Um, the paper indicates uh, took place prior to the uh, drug test, um, which also be canceled last week's planned pay-per-view event. Now, um, last Wednesday, Daily Mail broke the news that Ben tested positive for a banned substance called clomiphene, um, which is an antibiotic steroid. Um, apparently, he failed another test, or allegedly, or possibly. Um, I don't know how you possibly fail the test. Did he fail the test or not? I guess we're going to find out. Um The uh, the British boxing board, uh, uh, the BBBC, uh, issued a statement saying, you know, they were no longer saying it's in the fight. Eddie Hearn um, wanted the fight to go on, um, even though he was a drug, you know, he's a steroid cheat, uh, which is despicable. Um, the fight got canceled. The event got canceled. I understand Eddie has money invested into it. You got to take it up with your fighter. He's the one that blew this. Um, this is this is this is on Connor Ben. Um, and now look, I understand. I'm one who thinks you know steroids are a lot more common in sports. Let me fix this. All right, having some mic problem. I'm one that thinks uh, steroids are much more common in, in, in sports than people think. Uh, I think it's very, very commonplace. I, I think a lot of people get away with it. Um, I, I think Conor Ben would have gotten away with this had they not done the VOD testing, had it just been the UK testing, he'd have gotten away with this. I understand. I'm not saying I'm justifying it. I'm not making excuses for him. I'm saying I understand why he did it. He's fighting a naturally bigger guy, a much bigger guy, a guy that's what 60 and 68 when you're 47 pounds. Now, Conor Ben's the much better fighter, but, but you know, there's weight classes for a reason. Um, he wanted to bulk up. He wanted the extra strength, so he took steroids. It's simple and plain, guys. I mean, I'm not. I, I shouldn't be breaking new ground here. He thought he could get away with it. He could not. Now his career's in jeopardy. You know, I, I do think he's such a good talent and he's such a good fighter that he'll get past this. You know, he'll take a suspension six months, a year, whatever it may be, and he'll be back at it. Chris Algieri is now out. Algieri is saying he was. Surprised by his physical transformation. Not saying he's done this before. He hadn't failed a test before, so that's not right to say. But, you know, Algeri has an eyebrow raised. Algeri's been in there. Pacquiao, Errol Spence, Khan. He's been in there with top-notch welterweights. He was surprised by what he saw with um, with with Conor Ben. Um, it... And, and Eubank promoter Frank Warren is saying that this the, the results of this test was known beforehand, and it, it's it's a really bad look for Eddie Hearn to try to the, the, the first test. This, the second test was actually the first test. It was failed a way back. People knew about it. They hit it. The second test came in, and they were saying, "No, we knew this. There was a one failed." That's basically so. When I say a second test, the second test was actually the first test. That makes sense, right? This they, they knew this, and, and Frank Warren is saying people knew this, and Eddie Hearn tried to ignore the first one, and then tried to ignore the second one. This this is a black eye. This is this is a really really ugly 
situation for boxing to try to have this fight go on. I said, look, when the fight when 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 the news broke, um, the fight's got to be canceled right away. You can't put him in. Like I can't say he's in this fight. Like what? If, this is a try. We just saw a death recently. Like, what, what what if there's a death in this fight? I'm not gonna have that on my conscience. I'm not gonna have somebody die. Uh, the fight's canceled, right? Like he's he, he he popped dirty. You know, there's no point in the VADA testing if you're not gonna ab abide by the results of the VADA test. If he fails the VADA test, the fight's got to be canceled. Simple and plain. I I know the BBBC goes by UCAD, but once you said we're gonna do voluntary testing, now we gotta abide by voluntary testing. Otherwise, there's no. There's no need, there's no reason, there's, there's no function of the voluntary test if you can fail the voluntary test and still fight the fight. And I understand Eubank wanted to fight him. I get it. He's a competitor. And I said the same thing about Tua Tiger Viola, right, when he wanted to go back in the game. I understand you're a competitor. You still think you can win. You can do this. You can work through this. That's not the point. There needs to be an adult in the room like, listen, I understand you want to fight. I understand Tua wants to play. We can't let you go out there, okay? This guy's cheating. It's just... We can't let this fight go on. So, you know, it's just like someone needs to tell two of that game, you can't play the rest of the game, and you can't play four days later on a Thursday. This is just a, a bad situation all around. And, um, you know, I, I certainly do think a, a, a lengthy suspension is coming. And I, I think some kind of disciplinary action has to be taken against Eddie Hearn. If this is true, if there was a test, a first test prior to the test that came out Wednesday, if the Daily Mail is right and there was a test prior to that, then th th there needs to be a suspension. There needs to be some kind of disciplinary action for Eddie Hearn to try and let this fight go on when he knew there was not one but two failed tests. There's a major issue there. There's a major issue if that's what happened. I'm not saying it is. It looks like that's what happened. I, I can't see how that's not what happened. Like, you know, that's what they reported. They reported there's a, a, another test. What, what, they just make that up? Days later, they just made up? Well, actually, it's, I mean, I kind of think it's true. It's just logically true. Uh, if this is the case, it's a black eye for the sport. Again, I, I, I think... Connor Ben comes back from this, but there needs to be a suspension. And I think there needs to be disciplinary action, a fine, a suspension, something for Eddie Hearn for trying to push this fight through. When you knew that you knew this is not the first time with him. He's had Eddie Hearn has had incidences like this before. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Do you guys, you know, what do you guys think of the of the, of the second test prior, the, the other test, we'll call it? And do you think there should be disciplinary acts taken against Hearn? And what do you think Connor Ben should get? Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Uh, please follow us all from social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. And please uh, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. Um, it is October 11th, 2022. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.